Over the next few days, we're going to be exploring the beautiful Munar. Look at this! This is Munar, a hill station in the southwest mountains of Kerala, known for its lush green tea plantations and utter natural beauty. We're Keith and Dev, and one of our favorite things to do is seek out peaceful places, places full of nature and serenity. And we think Munar is exactly that. Join us as we spend the next few days exploring what Munar has to offer. Subscribe to follow along. Good morning. Good morning from Munar. That was a phenomenal sunrise over the town and over the beautiful tea plantations here. That is why Munar is famous. It's phenomenal. It's so green. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. Yeah, it is a beautiful place. And so people come up here in Kerala to experience it and walk through the tea fields. And so it's we're sort gonna... of like a retreat, right? Yeah. People come here for their honeymoons all the time. Yeah. So, so we're, we're going to do our best to explore. We're spending the next two days here and we're going to see as much as we can of this beautiful place. So yesterday we took a local bus that took us six hours from Aleppi where we left our houseboat tour, which we highly recommend by the way, it was a phenomenal experience. So this bus cost $9 for two people, which was super cheap. Bit of an experience, but we yes, made it here to Munar. Definitely, but totally worth it. To be honest, on the bus I was like, oh, is this gonna be worth it? It is, this is stunning. Yesterday we also actually had time to go to the tea museum, it's called, and we learned a little bit about the history of this place, which we'll share with you. The tea plant originated in areas between India and China, and the first tea plantation in Munar was started in 1880. Presently, Munar produces 21 million kilograms of tea every year. Although a lot of the area was cultivated for the tea plantations, today, Munar is also renowned for its ecological significance and biodiversity. Can't get enough of this. We've just been walking through these beautiful tea plantations, nowhere oh we're God. going, just following random paths. Getting lost. And it's. It's Amazing. out of this world. It's out of this world. We just turned the corner of this hill that we're walking around and all of a sudden it's quiet. Like the city is Munar's on the other side of this. We could hear the cars and some honking and stuff. We turn the corner and it's just peaceful. It's birds and nature. Oh, it's wonderful. Just listen. And now we're in the loud, bustling city. Very different down here than up there, like right there. And if I stick my arm out too far, I might get cut. We're actually only here for one day, and it's nice because there's restaurants, but then we'll be getting ourselves out of here into a nice location. Into the outskirts, which is where a lot of the retreats and nice hotels are, which we'll show you soon. Yeah, like look at the difference. I mean, we're talking about a 10 minute walk right there. And then this. It's so busy. Let's eat. We may have had an instant coffee in our room this morning before the sunrise, but we realized here that the best warm caffeinated drink is masala tea. So we ordered ourselves one. I'm not gonna take a sip yet because it's gonna burn my mouth, but it is so delicious. So while we're still in South India, we had to get the South Indian breakfasts, which are dosas and utapam. We have now had many doses and I'm already just so excited. So this is like a tomato chutney, a coconut chutney, and then sambar. I'm learning, guys. It's so good. It's your version of a crepe, but you can have. So inside a masala dosa has like a potato mix with spices and sometimes some vegetables. And it just makes it more filling and delicious. This is onion utapam, which is not like dosa. It's fermented rice batter, so definitely can have it. It's gluten free. I think there might be some lentils in it. It's part of the traditional Indian breakfast as well, so it comes with the chutneys. Delicious. Also, loving these silver plates. First time we're getting these, by the way. And it's like 
iconic, isn't it? By the way, we just got the bill, and our breakfast was two forty, which is less than five dollars Canadian. And there's so much food and so good, amazing. So we've actually escaped the town of Munar, which is what you do when you're here. We've come to a place called the Wild Trails Resort, which is a 50 minute drive, by the way, from town. Now that sounds daunting and we were sort of not looking forward to that. I was nervous after the bus for the windy roads, but it was incredible. Like it was like a sightseeing drive. It, it was, was amazing. So, so beautiful. Wild Trails Resort actually organized the Jeep, which was a really good price from town to here in the outskirts. And it was honestly that experience was an experience of itself. Yeah. Incredible. That drive was lovely. It was bumpy, but it was stunning. And so when you come to Munar, people usually actually don't stay in town, which was actually a lot of fun for us. Mm -hmm. They usually come to the outskirts like we are doing now. So we're going to spend some time in this beautiful resort and enjoy the nature that is around us. Because we always love to show you our accommodations, we're gonna give you a tour of our cute little cottage while we're here. Come on in. So you come inside and there is a lovely hallway area. Lock it up. And then the bathroom is right here to my left. And it's a lovely That's giant, right. right, dang it. It's a lovely giant shower with that waterfall with all the shampoos and things we need. They even give us toothbrush and toothpaste. Beautiful bathroom. Moving on, we have our little coffee tea station, there's slippers, a TV, and then the bed. It's a huge bed that looks super comfy, and look at these towels! I've always wanted to be able to know how to do this. I don't know how, but I'm very impressed by it. There's a little seating area, a little couch, and then the best part is you come on outside, and we have a beautiful balcony with a view. Oh gosh, we have these beautiful chairs that we can just look out and enjoy the Munar nature that's around us. So I've gotten into the habit of wearing my little <laughs> hotel slippers around. I think it's just fun. It prevents my feet from getting dirty. It just feels like luxurious. It's a small thing. <laughs> We're gonna go get some lunch now. All righty. I'm, I'm hungry. so excited to eat. We have got ourselves some veggie fried rice, mm -hmm. which I love, some dal fry. fry, which is like a lentil curry, and then Keith's got himself a, a chapati roti, as well. Because I find it like a, just to clean up the dish of curry at the end, you need a little chapati roti to, you know, wash it, wash it down. Clean it up. Wash it down <laughs> sounds bad. <laughs> I just want to clean up the bowl with the roti. Anyways, let's eat. I'm starving. Nice. Mm, I want some. All right, I'll get you. Sign me up. Two. No, it's not normal to do dal fry and fried rice. But oh, it, uh, like it's it. light and it hits the spot and it's mm. satiating. Mm -hmm. It's a good lunch food. Mm -hmm. It's very comforting. Mm. Mm, it smells really good. I can't believe I'm saying this, you guys, but I think we might become tea drinkers on this trip. Like, we might have more tea than coffee while we're here. What the heck are you talking about? And I mean, like, while we're in India. You're wild. This does smell. <laughs> wow. This smells so nice. Lately. Yes, we have. So sleeping till eight <laughs> was nice for once. Yeah, and now we're waking up to this, mm -hmm. which is just great. And I've just been reading for the last little bit, which has been exactly what I needed. Man, there's so many nice birds here. Huh? Yeah, I feel like bird watching Kerala has a lot of nice birds. Mm. Also, 
One thing that's really great at this place is it has breakfast included and we love breakfast included. This is true. So I'm excited to see what we have because every single time we've had breakfast in India so far, it's been kind of different. Yeah, it has been. So I'm excited to see what it is. Like there's so much food here. I'm so excited to try new things. Look at the variety of the breakfast. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I'm excited to try it. New things that we haven't tried before. Yeah, you're right. It was a different breakfast. There's so much different food here in India. I realize this is a Munar video, but it, there's also been a lot of food in it. You're right. And that's because in India... You eat a lot of food. You eat a lot of food. Also, vegetarianism is really easy here, but I find I need to eat more. Yeah, so he's we need like to have struggling like to find his protein. Big meals, you know, to satiate. But that's fine. <laughs> a lot of food. There are multiple different gluten-free options, that are, like for breads. Like yeah. this is like a new one. I think and this it's is called with rice flour. and it's made with rice flour. I don't know how to eat any of this stuff, by no. the way. Don't make fun of us, please. <laughs> a lot of it is like good. dip in, in curry sauce, but mm -hmm. rip it's it. very light. Look at this with cool shape. Yeah, rice flour. It's perfect because it's carbohydrates for me. So I have um, pretty much like um, pori bhaji, which is the cool little beaver tail like dippy bread with uh, yellow curry with potato. And I, got I, I like that mix. Other curry to try it. And there's actually omelets which is really good because that's mm -hmm. how you eat. You get satiated like that with the protein. And some fruit, some instant coffee. We can also request filtered coffee which we did. Coffee which, we need. By the way, they, lo they grow local beans. Wild Trails also uses a, a bunch of organic local produce. So all the spices from food mm -hmm. um, that we had last night and like cardamom and all these things are grown locally. And coffee beans are grown here too. That's awesome. Which is really neat. Coffee taste test. Instant coffee. It's good. They add milk to the instant coffee here, so it's not too bad. But this is filtered coffee, so let's see. You can taste the difference. Big difference, oh. We're off, we've left the Wild Trails Resort. So we're gonna go roam the area. There's beautiful tea fields in the area and just being outside in nature is the plan. Did we mention that our little resort here is on kind of at the bottom of a hill? So it's constant uphill for the next little bit. You gotta be careful, because they come fast, they're on the corner. Whew, it's bright, but it's a good thing because it means it's midday, it's about noon. Uh, because we realize that there's actually some dangers if you come here in the night time or too early in the morning like we did the other day Wild elephants We actually went on two morning hikes when we were in the town of Munar yeah. The second time we didn't bring the camera. We just roamed. It was just for ourselves for us, yeah. But then these people started yelling saying hey, what are you doing? Like we don't understand they're speaking uh, Hindi or Malalam, which is the language of Kerala We didn't know what they were saying and uh, finally we caught up with them and like there's a wild elephant behind, behind you we on the hill. Up on the hill, and there was a giant elephant. We only got this quick picture of it because at the time we were like, whoa, cool. And then next thing you know, they're like, no, they're very no, no, dangerous. Don't go near be them. Be careful. And sadly, someone actually has recently passed away this week here in Munar from an elephant, from an elephant attack. attack. And my dad sent me a stat that 400 people in India actually pass away from elephants elephant attacks. So they're year. serious. Wild elephants are something to take seriously for sure. Wow. So we're here in midday. In because we don't want to, <laughs> we don't want to be in trouble. <laughs> also, we just wanted to mention, like, if you come to Munar, look into the hiking and the tea plantations because we were kind of travel noobs there, mm -hmm. and maybe we weren't supposed. Even though we loved it and it was beautiful, maybe we weren't supposed to go to those tea plantations. So early and late at night, the due sunset. to elephants. So just look into that if you come here. We are full-time travel news. That's our <laughs> that's our bio on Instagram. Which, by the way, if you haven't or you don't follow us on Instagram, we post stories of uh, of things that are more up to date. Actually a fair deal of cars going up and down these roads, having a good time listening to music. But I have to say, there's a lot of garbage on the side of these roads, okay? More than we've seen in other places. So if you're one of those people that throws garbage out of your car, 
Don't do that. That's not being a good person. That's not cool. Anyhow, apart from that, everything, everything's beautiful. Well, we found the crowds here at the, uh, the waterfall. I forget the name, it's, it's here. Um, but yeah, geez, it's busy, it's a Sunday. Don't know if we want to go inside with all these crowds. No, we saw some pictures and... We've seen some nice waterfalls. Yeah. There are a lot in the area though. Also the There's a lot to explore in Winar, but... Where are you guys from? Yeah, from, yeah, from Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu. Okay. Bye, bye, bye. See ya. Bye, 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 bye. bye, bye. You're Thank welcome. you, sir. No, no worries. No problem. <laughs> okay. So this is where you get your tickets, and this is also where you meet uh, college tours, which yeah, come here so cool. for like a day trip They're, and it's uh, part sightsee. part of their curriculum. They're doing like they do two day, I don't know, a trip every semester. They said so fun. A lot of selfies. So we're here. We might as well do it. It was a uh, hundred per head because we're foreigners. Yeah, it's she didn't have change. You have to like be careful because they don't really have change, and then we have to wait yeah. around and, and ask for change. It was just so busy. <laughs> I think this is going to be an experience more. To, I think to see a bunch of people together. Mm -hmm. and take some think, selfies. The other thing right now is we're here in dry season, so the waterfalls aren't as flowy as they would be during monsoon or after. Let's see how long we last. So the good thing is that the crowds dispersed. The bad news though. Is there's no water. <laughs> that there's no water. And it looks a bit sad. But look, let's be honest. This is a close waterfall we can walk to. It's and really popular because it's on the major road here. But there's a ton in the area. There's honestly too much to do. In Munar, trekking and, and sunrise tours and overnight camping sort of stuff. But can't do it all, obviously. So there is water. That's good. And people are having tons of fun and they're happy swimming. So this is actually a nice spot. Honestly, that was actually quite nice. I really enjoyed that. It was There's a good a little breeze, stop on our walk. Cold water, people having fun. Yeah, I really like that. I think it's quite cold. It's now walk o'clock because the sun is getting lower in the sky. And we're gonna go maybe do a meditation on the property because it's just so lovely and peaceful. Yeah, it goes down to the bottom here of the valley and there's a bit of a stream which is nice. Also, I was not expecting like to be swimming or having a pool space yeah. other than by the beach, so that was just so nice. That was <coughs> awesome. I fell asleep. Oh, uh, yeah. <coughs> Sorry, I'm choking on myself. Right down here is actually, they call it her abode. Looks like some sort of little shrine and yoga space. It's peaceful. It's just the birds chirping here. And the cicadas are going to start soon. There's another little path here. It's called the Wild Creek. I feel like we're like in the jungle though down here. Yeah, down here is really neat. In the valley, in the jungle. While well, we're down here, we're gonna do a nice meditation because it's something we're trying to include more in our routine and what better mm -hmm. place to do it than right here. Yeah, this is really nice in the jungle by streams. Yeah, good actual natural background noises, which is very cool. And fresh air. All right, let's do it. In this session, we'll be discussing the benefits of a disciplined practice. Start by taking a deliberate posture, sitting in a way that's not too tight or too relaxed, but it's comfortable and upright. Uh, can you believe they have juice deliveries? Yeah, they actually can deliver your food. Yeah, you could eat in your room here. In your room, wherever you want, actually, but... 
fresh this is excellent. passion fruit juice. This is really good. Wow. Mmm. I'm spilling myself. Definitely a retreat here in Moonlight. Wow. This is so nice. The birds, the sun, the juice delivery. What the heck? Quick interruption, there's something called a rain dance here. So we're gonna go check it out. Flash light show? I think it's just uh, sprinklers and lights and music. But we're gonna go see. That was so much fun and it was super fun. random, but it happens, yeah. I guess, every night here. A dance party in the forest in the, the middle of dance. Munar. Yeah, speaking of Munar, we had an amazing time here. We recommend coming to Munar and we recommend also the Wild Trails Resort. It's really yeah. nice, it's been really relaxing. This place, I didn't know India had something like mm, so this. So much and greenery and space and peace. Incredible, yeah, I yeah. can't recommend it enough. Speaking of retreats and stuff like that, that Munar is. We're gonna go have dinner, just the two of us. So uh, we'll see you in our we'll next see you video. Soon. So thanks for watching. I'm probably not doing this right, by the way. I know I'm not. Now I'm stressed now. I dropped my potato. <laughs> Look at where you are, Dev. This is so cool. This is so beautiful. We're alone in the mountains. <laughs> in India! <laughs> I'm so excited, it's full too much air! <coughs> <laughs> <sighs> I feel so at peace!